Hey everyone, I want to do another demo on my 201 gear loop, uh, 80 90 weight gear loop. Uh, I did in the video before, same thing, it, you know, it's uh, going to do the same test with our, with our mixer, but it's uh, you know, a gear loop that will run you know, three to five times longer uh, without changes. Uh, dissipates heat by like 20%, has your additives all in it for your limited slip plus your, your anti foam agents. Uh, I'm going to put it up against our Royal Purple here today, which is a is a common high-end lube that a lot of people around use. Uh, it's more money, of course, than what, what my 201 is, but uh, we'll just kind of see how it compares and a little bit better lighting. But as you can see, it just mixes in. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't climb at all. It just kind of splashes around. And you see a little bit of bubbles in it, but like I said, that has an anti-foam agent in it also. Same as a 201. So you can just imagine that in your in your gears, in your gearbox, your transmission, your rear end, whatever you have. That uh, without it climbing, nothing else gets lubricated up inside these here shafts. We'll clean this here off best we can. We're just kind of doing the same thing I already had posted, but just a little bit better lighting so you can get a little better picture of it of what it actually does. Move this here out of the way so you can see a little better. This room. See this here. Climb right on the top. So everything you see is it gets lubricated. When you let it settle, it settles down through, and all your gears all still stay lubricated. So they can sit there and uh, you know, as long as it need be, but everything, the, the oil will still stay on the shaft. So that eliminates your dry starts. So when you start something back up after it's been sitting a while, you already have the lubrication here on the gears. So when you go to move, then you already, uh, you have the lubrication already there just to start the process. So it's just a matter of picking it back up. Right there. Like that. Which is nice. This is how it eliminates a lot of wear. But, like I say, it's just kind of the same test. This here has your anti foam agents in it, same as this. I mean, they both have bubbles in them from just this here kind of a test, but it, uh, when it gets up to temperature and out, it is made to, uh, to eliminate. So, when you have those those agents in it, that eliminates cavitation, which is air bubbles in, in your oil, which causes you know pitting and, and what have you in, on uh, the machine parts. So, anyway, I just want to kind of give a little better picture of it in the light. So, I'm going to talk to you later.